Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about activity ID in Salesforce email message entity. In uh, email message entity or object, we have a field called activity ID. We will get insufficient access or read only exception when we set the activity ID on the email message record with related to ID other than case record. For example, let look at this sample code. Here I am setting the related to ID as account ID and activity ID to already created task record. If I try to create an email message record with this uh, value setup, we will definitely run into insufficient access or read only exception. This is because Whenever we set the related to ID other than case, then we cannot pass activity ID. So this is an ex uh, limitation in Salesforce. So in order to have activity ID on email message, pass related to ID. So just pass this related to ID. Do not pass the activity ID because Salesforce will automatically generate the uh, task record and then it will automatically populate this activity ID. So this is a sample code. So I'm setting the status equal to three from name as test name. I have set the subject HTML body two addresses, um, created date. If you want to set it, you can do it or you can remove this. And uh, I'm also setting um, and the account ID, which is hard coded. And see here i'm passing account id so i'm not passing activity id so let's look at this code and let's try to execute it it's not good so before i execute i'm going to see whether i have any email message records i don't have any email message records so let's execute it yeah, definitely it created yeah it created um, email message record and it is setting the activity ID so this activity ID is created just now so Salesforce automatically create this task record Salesforce automatically uh, created. So make sure you are not passing activity ID whenever you are setting the related to ID other than case record. For case record, one of the biggest advantages you can set this. You can pass the related to ID and as well as activity ID, but here the related to ID should be case ID do not assign other than case ID here if you are, if you set other than uh, case ID what will happen is you will run into this read only exception okay so let's test this code okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this data So now if I refresh, yeah, no records found and make sure this record is deleted. Yeah, the task also got deleted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make case object. I'm going to use this case. In the hard coded ID, I'm going to use this case and I'm going to create a task record so that I can pass that value. Okay, so let me delete this also. Yeah, 
currently I don't have any so this is one task record I am going to use it so I will be able to pass activity ID and related to ID because I am using case as the related to ID so I am going to execute it see related to ID is this case and activity ID is FREAA it is ends with FREAA and it would have not created any task record so important thing is whenever you want to set the activity ID make sure the related to ID is case and one more important thing is whenever you set the related to ID other than case do not pass the activity ID if you do so you will run into insufficient access or read only exception from Salesforce I hope it was helpful Thank you for watching.